Governor Sisolak has a resolution for consideration for the Board of Pardons Commissioners, and officials say it could affect tens of thousands of Nevadans who were previously convicted for possession of small amounts of marijuana. Paul Nelson reports. Legalized recreational marijuana is fairly new to Nevada, but the criminal records linger for many whose offenses would not be crimes by today's standards. Anything that is sort of a previous crime where somebody was caught with one ounce or less of marijuana, I do think they should be pardoned and have their records sort of expunged from here on out. The governor's resolution would pardon people who were previously convicted of possessing one ounce or less of marijuana and weren't trying to sell it. As of 2016, Nevadans can legally possess an ounce or less. In a statement, he said, quote, The people of Nevada have decided that possession of small amounts of marijuana is not a crime. If approved, this resolution will clear the slate for thousands of people who bear the stigma of a conviction for actions that have now been decriminalized. It is my understanding that these crimes would be misdemeanors in their intent because they have a felony marijuana conviction. It have to be a very, very old conviction or for a very large quantity of marijuana, some sort of trafficking charge. The 2019 legislature passed a bill that allows people to request the court to seal their conviction if the offense happened before it was decriminalized. A lot of people in the state have realized that past crimes and convictions of marijuana need to be reformed and we need to look at it as a new substance for what it is today, a legal adult use substance. Many Nevadans agree these criminal records should be up to date with current law. I do think though that if they've had multiple offenses or offenses of marijuana and something else, that perhaps they could be pardoned but they need to have some sort of mandatory education. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Now, the Nevada Board of Pardons Commissioners is comprised of the governor, the attorney general, and the Supreme Court justices. It will take up the resolution at its next meeting on Wednesday.